Okay, so, you know, recently I had an accident, which was really a drag. I fell on some construction, wasn't supposed to be there in the, in the middle of New York City, it was on the street, and I fell, tripped over it, and, um, and fell on the other side of the street, and I have some nerve damage, unfortunately, probably forever, on my right hand. This has, like, been going on now for two years. I was playing within three months because I'm not going to give up music. If I not without a fight, it's too much. Uh, it's too much in me, you know. And I love to play. So, uh, and I think it's important. Just if you get down in any way, you get depressed. You don't think you can do this. You do whatever pulls you back. You keep going anyway, no matter. You know, if you can. And I could. So, I had to get some surgeries and stuff with my hand. I got a lot of support from people that were just, you know, caring, and you know, and and trying to help me out, and uh, and also from people who had similar or their own injuries, and and they said, well, you can do this and that and the other thing. So, uh, so, but I still, you know, uh, since in the last couple of years, I have to use glue to hold the pick. I actually have to use kind of this wig glue, you know, which kind of sticks to your your hand it doesn't hurt you you know it's not bad for the skin so but it's sticky so I'm using the pick like this kind of you know kind of I put glue around the pick and kind of play like that so uh, but I'm, I've found a way to kind of keep most of what I was doing before um, intact and most people can't really tell I had this injury so there's a lot of stuff you can go for if you if you put your mind to it if you want to do it bad enough no matter what happens and there are times when I got really depressed and felt like I wasn't ever going to be able to play the guitar uh, even before this accident just just in general just got depressed about my playing and learning was so hard and I wasn't it wasn't happening fast enough for me and all that stuff and I still kept going. I had, you know, I just kind of, uh, people said, yeah, they know that feeling. Other people that I knew, and they said, but the way to do it is to keep going. I remember Pat Metheny told me one time, before one of my first jazz gigs, you know, I played some rock gigs, some blues gigs, and little places in where I grew up in Washington, D.C. But I never played a real jazz gig, kind of, and I played at this little tiny club. It was my first jazz gig playing some standards and 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 I was scared to put my name up uh, on you know usually people would put it up around Berkeley and they would say you know I'm playing here and I was I didn't even want to do it and I told Pat I said man I get so nervous about it I'm gonna suck I'm gonna sound like shit and you know and I'm shy about it and he said you just got to get past that because you're not going to learn unless you play so the first gig sucked it was terrible. I sucked. I sounded terrible. My, my, the pick was shaking. I think I dropped it 20 times. And, uh, and so I was depressed afterwards. I thought, well, I'll never get this stuff. And then I kept going anyway. You know, uh, you know I just said, I got nothing to lose. The second gig was actually even worse. The third gig was better than both of those. <laughs> it got progressively better. So the, the moral of this short little story is you got to keep going. And, and uh, if you want to play music, don't, don't stop for any reason unless you absolutely have to. There's no other recourse because it's beautiful for your heart and soul and for other people's heart and soul to, to, just, uh, to just keep playing. The effort is almost as, as, in some ways, as valuable and maybe even more so than the actual, what actually comes out. Just that you try to do something beautiful like play music so anyway that's my two bits <laughs>